So we're going to kick off with the Times, Josh, uh, I think. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Uh, so teenage sisters among Britons missing in Gaza. Um, turns out, yes, yeah, seven have British citizens have been killed and 10 have been kidnapped. And these are a picture of two of them, a 13-year-old and a 16-year-old, Yahel and uh, Nolia, who are very similar ages to, to my kids. And um, they're right now being held by a um, genocidal bunch of rapists regime. And they need to be brought home and Israel needs to go in and get them. And all these people who are sort of say, oh, no, Israel, hold back, stop, stop. It's like, are any of them actually call, you know, calling for these people to be released, these 150 innocent victims? Uh, no, because they're a bunch of hypocrites and they disgust me. Anyway, that's my impartial view. Um, and uh, it's just uh, it's it's just it's crazy to see when you when you can, when you we've heard about these these uh, kidnapped victims and to see start seeing photos of them appear now mm. and these are British citizens. Um, it's disgusting. Anyway, that's my take on that. What would you have to say about that, Liam? Um, yeah, I mean it's obviously tragic and terrible and shows the ties that we've got with uh, with Israel. And other countries across Europe and across the West have got, you know, missing people as well. Mm. Um, there's another story there, two dead in Brussels as a gunman goes on the rampage. So this is, you know, partly this sort of back, backlash from, from that. There's the global day of jihad, which was a bit of a damp squib. Uh, not to, you know, denigrate global jihad or anything. No. It'll come from me next. Well, but... to be fair, they had very little notice, did they? But, um, yeah. I mean, the, it, it's, it's interesting that term you backlash. Much, you don't need much notice to... No, I mean, it's more than rampages. It's not like they orchestrate planes going into buildings anymore. They just drive a Prius on a pavement or that run is about true. with a kitchen knife. It's interesting, that term backlash, isn't it? Because one reaches for that because there isn't really a very useful term to describe what it really is, which is a, a continuation of the forward lash, isn't it? It's, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's, yeah, a, of it's a, 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 an amplification of the lash. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but um, in, in terms of Swedish people, I mean, Sweden has never been involved in the Middle East. Sweden yeah. has only just given billions of, of, of whatever it is. Well, what they, they they've, recent, they've recently had a spate of Koran burnings in well, Sweden, this, which, probably, but, which probably motivated yeah. But they've accepted a Swedish, huge amount of immigrants. They're Swedish. Uh, yeah, it was a ter terrible idea to bring in, you know, culturally very distant uh, people with, you know, some radically different ideas. I mean, if they'd, if they'd brought in immigrants from Portugal, I'd, I doubt they'd be, you know, running around committing terror attacks. And it like seemed it. to be a very determined and objectively uh, understood programme. Sweden had a, a famous a, a, a government-sponsored information film. Do you remember this one, in which various Swedes explained to the rest of the country that Sweden was no longer going to be Swedish? Right. You know, they really did. They it's, you can find it on YouTube. They were saying that Sweden is going to change and what, what a Swede looks like is not what a Swede has looked wow. like previously. And, and that was popular. Everybody was fine with that. Not terribly popular, <laughs> I don't think. No, I mean, it is quite chilling. It certainly is now, in hindsight, yeah. now that we've seen what, what, what some of those people of those new Swedes... Maybe they need with to them. bring back the old Swedes, the Vikings. Yeah. I think they could maybe. You know, if a guy with one of those big double-ended axe things was down there, he could have <laughs> solved this, or at least chopped the guy's leg off. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if Islamists need more axes. <laughs> no, but a Viking. <laughs>